welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is another review. Today I'm doing the review of the Glen Turner Double Cask. It is a port finished whiskey. Picked this up from Aldi. Um, I believe the price was um, £17.95. It is a non age statement uh, whiskey produced by the Glen Turner Company. The Glen Turner Company is owned by Le Martinez, Le Martin, that French company that own Glen Murray as well as other um, whiskey brands. Now, this isn't um, exclusive to Aldi. You can, if you go online, pick it up from other locations, um, but currently it's out of stock everywhere. I have been trying to get hold of another bottle of this. As you can see, um, it's nearly, nearly finished in the last quarter. Bottled at 40% ABV. It is chill filtered and it has been colour adjusted also. It's... Um, matured in ex-bourbon barrels before a finishing period in um, port casks, hence the, the double cask name. I've already poured the dram, here it is, it's been sitting for a little while whilst it just opens up. Um, I'll tell you right now, this is a fantastic value bottle. It does get a value score of 82.52 out of 100, but don't let the value score put you off. £17.95, pence, thereabouts from Aldi. Uh, when it's available, it is a bargain. It is an absolute bargain. This, why? Well, because it's just so jammy. It's fruity. It does have some youthfulness, some youthful spirit character on the nose. But you're getting those um, jammy fruits that you would typically get from pork cask influence whiskies. It's just, it's a lovely nose. It's not spectacular by any means but it is a decent nose on the palate I'm not going to dwell on it too much but you're getting the same jammy rich fruits um, or berries, dark berry fruits blackberry, bramble um, you're getting the spices that you typically associate with um, a double cask whiskey so you're getting the cinnamons and you're getting the gingers um, it's a bit oaky it, it has a nice fruity finish to it it just continues into the into the finish which is a really nice thing I'm not going to push this review too much suffice to say that for a bottle under £20 if you're looking to buy a present for somebody then give this a consideration because it is, I'm not going to use the word sublime, but it's close to being that. It is a really enjoyable, great value whiskey that I recommend massively. There's a tiny bit of the youthfulness on the, on the, on the palate, but it's not off-putting. In a blind taste test, I'd assure you, I think this would do really, really well. Um, because, as we found out, blind taste tests um, can often pick um, the most surprising winner. Haig. You know what I'm talking about, people. So, it's great. I, th I think this is a great whiskey. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think this is an 88 out of 100. Simply because the, the value of the whiskey... And the taste that you're getting, okay, it's not mind-blowing. It's not better than uh, a lot of um, port-finished whiskies. Let's say uh, the Quinta Reuben. But given you can buy um, two bottles with change for the same price of a Quinta Reuben, I'd buy two bottles of this over the Quinta Reuben any day. And I like the Quinta Reuben, but this is a really good whiskey for the price. So that's nearly five minutes. It's a quick review, this one. It's It's fantastic. Distilled, I should say, at the Star Law Distillery, which is just out of, outside of Edinburgh, the Martin Um They are releasing a rum cask finish one very shortly. Laters.